John Morant, the electric point guard from Murray State, has drawn comparisons to Russell Westbrook after a surprising sophomore campaign in which he nearly doubled his scoring average, putting up 24.5 points per game in addition to dropping 10 dimes a game and shooting 36.3% from downtown. The 6'3 guard looks poised to be an NBA sensation. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about John Morant. At number one, his real name is Demetrius. You might be wondering then, why does everyone call him Ja? It's a shortened version of his middle name, Jamel. At number two, his dad played high school hoops with Ray Allen. Ja's father T suited up with Jesus Shuttleworth himself at Hillcrest High School of Dowsell, South Carolina. Both players went on to play college ball, Allen obviously at UConn, and T at Claflin University of Orangeburg, South Carolina. T's hoops career didn't just end in the college ranks though. After his time at Claflin, T played on the international circuit and tried out for the NBA. But before he could break through on the highest level, something happened that threw off his hoop dreams. His wife became pregnant with Ja. Given the change in the life circumstances, T moved on to his second career, working as a barber to support the family. At number three, Ja has words of wisdom from his mom tattooed on his arm. Ja is very close with his whole family, a promising sign for an NBA franchise evaluating character. On his left arm, he has a tattoo of some advice that his mother passed along to him, beneath no one. But that definitely wasn't the case when he was on the high school hoop scene. At number four, he was an unranked prospect entering college. Ranking high school prospects will always be an inexact science. Zion Williamson wasn't top three per most recruiting resources, and they missed the boat completely on Moran. None of the major services, 24-7 Sports, ESPN, or Rivals, had Morant ranked. Despite once playing AAU ball with Williamson and starring in high school, the lanky guard wasn't even a two-star recruit. A weird set of circumstances led him to his eventual college destination. At number five, Murray State discovered him on accident. The racer stumbled on gold when assistant coach James Kane attended a camp to see a different player. When he was on the hunt for a snack during the camp, Kane happened to see Morant tearing it up in a three-on-three -three game in the side gym. One thing led to another. Kane hit up Murray State coach Matt McMahon, and Morant landed a scholarship offer. Though he was also being courted by other schools, Murray committed to Murray State while eating dinner at McMahon's house in September of 2016, to which everyone at Murray State says, God bless that snack break. At number six, he couldn't dunk until his senior year of high school. Moran is a monster athlete, so it might surprise you to learn that his explosiveness didn't really develop until later on in his career. Though most top prospects start dunking in middle school, Moran couldn't throw it down until the summer before his senior year of high school. Before then, I'd probably get one dunk out of 25 tries, Moran recalled. He said back in high school he was a short, slow guard, so maybe we should cut the recruiting services and top-level scouts some slack. He also came a long way during college. At number seven, he made a metaphoric leap from his freshman to sophomore seasons. You may have seen Jaw's name on some mock drafts before the college season began. He was considered a fringe first round pick, but took his game to another level this past season. After posting averages of 12.7 points and 6.3 assists per game as a rookie, Moran elevated his marks considerably. Given his athleticism, he has the potential to become a two-way stud in the league. His ascension as a sophomore was made easier because, number nine, he made the NCAA tournament in both years of his college career. Murray State isn't an NCAA powerhouse, but Morant was part of two tourney squads in his two college seasons. The first time around, they fell short in the first round of West Virginia. This year, though, they won another OVC tournament title and thumped Marquette in the first round. Morant was absolutely lights out in that game, scoring 17 points on only nine shots, while handing out 16 dimes and snagging 11 boards. At number 10, his athleticism does not translate to golf. NBA players love to hit the links in the offseason. For example, Mike Conley Jr. and J.R. Smith are noted golfers, but Memphis presumed heir apparent does not seem likely to partake in the same activity during his pro summers. Amid this year's tourney, a video made the rounds of Morant's sad golf swing. He missed the ball twice and looked pathetic doing it. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to any sport, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. See you all next time.